Well, for more on this, political analyst Far Kim Beng joins me now from Kuala Lumpur. He's the founder of Echo Strategic Insights. Thank you for joining us on the program. Why was this location on Borneo chosen? Well, there are several reasons why it was chosen. One of the reasons is because this is an area that is considered relatively free from any potential earthquakes uh, or natural prone disasters. Another reason is because the location is right smack in the center of the whole of the Republic of Indonesia. So it's strategically and symbolically important to President uh, Joko Widodo. Mm -hmm. What are some of the logistical challenges here? Uh, move, moving uh, a capital city obviously is not easy, and we know it'll cost about $32 billion. But what are some of the challenges that Indonesia will face with this, and when would the relocation begin? Uh, some of the challenges that Indonesia will face, ironically, will be a competition for investment, because the relocation or the reconstruction of the new capital would cost probably around 32 to 40 billion US dollars and about 1.5 to 2, 2, billion, 2 million uh, civil servants would have to be relocated to, in, uh, to that area which has yet to be named. And this decision will result in a competition for foreign direct investments with other priority areas that Indonesia does need right now. Mm -hmm. And the, among the, the key complications that the decision will result to would be uh, somewhat quite political. For instance, after the end of the tenure of President Joko Widodo in 2024, who would be, his, who would be the successor to continue with the plan mm -hmm. of the relocation? Because it's going to take 10 to 15 years, if not 20 years, to complete the whole reconstruction. Mm -hmm. It is quite the project. Uh, Jakarta is one of the world's most densely populated cities. How will this ease the burden on Jakarta? Well, it will ease the burden in terms of reducing the possibility that almost every political and administrative affairs would be concentrated in Jakarta only because the new capital would be revolving would be focused on issues that touches on governance and administrations of Indonesia. So, but f commercial, financial issues would still be in Jakarta. All right, we will leave it there for now. Political analyst Farkin Beng joining us from Kuala Lumpur. Thank you.